We're about to unbox a package that came in from overseas. That's right, folks. Today we are unboxing a package that I received from overseas. I've ordered this thing from China. <laughs> yes, China. And I wanted to see what kind of condition it would come in, which it doesn't look like that great of a condition. Now, what's in here? I don't know if you guys remember, I had started collecting some of the NBA pops because I saw some cheap online. They were like $4.95, I think the ones I bought. I can't remember the exact price. They were like under five bucks with shipping and they came in, but they were from the US and they came in great condition if you guys seen that episode. So I was on eBay after buying those and I saw some LeBron James Funko Pops. And there were two of them. One uh, when he's in the white outfit and the other one is when he's in his red outfit. And in the United States, each one was around 20 something bucks a piece, some $34 a piece. It all depends on who you bought them from. But I saw China had them. You could get both of them for $17. It was like $17 and some change. I can't remember exactly. But around $17 shipping. So you know what I said, what the hell? Let's go ahead and order one so you guys can see what happens when you order something from China off of eBay for cheap. And this is what I kind of expected. Let's look at this package, folks. This package is pretty messed up. Now, 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 now remember, there's two fun codes in here. We got, look like something was heavy was sitting on it. So if there's a fun code here, I'm sure it's smashed. This one I'm hoping is maybe salvageable. The box might not be messed up because you guys know I'm a box collector. And you can see here, it came from China. I don't know if you guys can see that on there. It came from China. I can't pronounce that. Anyway, so let's see how these people from China <laughs> ship Funkos. Remember, there's two in here. And there's already a hole here on this side. And a dent here. Oh, so bear with me, folks. Where should I open it from? From here or the bottom? I think I'm gonna open it from the bottom. Let's open it from the bottom. Uh, give me a second. Hopefully I won't mess it up when I'm opening it. <laughs> it's probably already messed up. I don't know why I said that. <laughs> All right, I'm gonna try to just, just grab the edge right here. Let's see if we can get it. Let's see. Here we go, look at that. Oh, look, no padding, no padding, no padding, <laughs> no padding. <laughs> like if I say it four times, it's going to be padding. All right, let's see. Oh, let me cut this side. Now remember folks, the part that's pretty messed up is right here at the bottom. So what? let's make the bottom the top. The top here is pretty messed up. Let's see how that top one looks. Oh, look, you see? It's sideways, that's why it was able to push in. Okay, let's pull him out. Get the, oh, well, yeah, well, I guess that's not too, too bad. Okay, here's the first one, folks, the red one, and he's in his red outfit. Yeah, that box is dent, but what you want? I mean, it was $17 for two. Not too bad, I mean, for the price, not too bad. Now my only concern, now look, here is, is pushed down. Box is a little messed up here, and that's all because of the shipping. But what I was getting ready to say is my only concern is if this sum of gun is real. And you know what? I've ordered some, the other fun codes I ordered from the Pop Life place. If I'm not mistaken, they had like a little uh, authenticity sticker. This one does not have the authenticity sticker. So I'm, I don't know if that means that it's fake, but it's pretty damaged. We got damage here. We got a, I don't know if you guys can see that. We got a rip here. The box is, I mean, it's not, it could be, it could be a lot worse, but it, it'll do. It's going to have to do. Let's check out that next one. Let's see how bad this one is effed up. Pull him on out of there. 
<laughs> look. Okay, check it out. Oh, this is good. Look how good this looks. You see? Oh, let me start turning them here. Look at here. Oh, this is good. Look, it did come out good. But hey, let's take a look at the bottom. Bam. The bottom's effed up, man. Look at the bottom. The bottom's mashed. You guys can see that on camera. The bottom's mad. And they don't have that sticker on there. That pop, that uh, authenticity sticker that I saw on the other ones that come from Pop Asia or from China. But the bottom is pretty damaged. The sides kind of damaged too, right here. And that's all because of the packing. I mean, they would have put it in a little bit bigger box and did some wrapping. It probably would have came out a lot better, the box. Now, the Funko itself is, looks pretty good. Now, here's my only other concern. I wonder if that Funko in there is real. I mean, if the box might be fake. I don't know if this box is fake. I'm, I'm just saying that. But the box might be fake. Let's uh, take him out of there. I'll probably run up tearing a box because it's kind of... Let's see. Okay. Let's pull him out and see what he looks like. Oh, God. How can you tell if these are fake? I don't know. I guess... You see this here? I mean, he looks good. Got a good paint job. Uh, under the feet, they have the marking. But then again, maybe these people know about the marking. Make their own markings. The paint job looks okay. So, the Funko itself looks good. Yeah, the Funko itself looks good. So if you're out of the box collector, this would look pretty, pretty cool. If you're out of the box collector. Yeah, this is this was this one looks good. Let's go ahead and take the other one out. And we're gonna see what this one looks like. Now this box is a little bit better shape than that dented piece of crap over there. Let's get him out of there, folks. Now this one looks okay. Oh, you know what I can do? I do have Carmelo Anthony and I think that one's a, a, a real one let me uh find Carmelo Anthony and we could put them side by side let's see where I put Carmelo Anthony at where you at right yet let's see you know what give me a minute I'm gonna go find Carmelo and I'll be right back All right, folks, I found Carmelo Anthony, and I also found the other ones also. Uh, but what I did notice in Carmelo Anthony, he didn't have the bottom sticker either. So maybe maybe that's just the way they do them. Maybe some has and some don't. Uh, Dwight Howard, you guys remember when I unboxed that one? He does not have that authenticity, whatever you say, <laughs> sticker. I think the only one that had it was my Kobe Bryant. My Kobe Bryant number eight, I have him. And maybe he's the only one that's real. He has that sticker. That's that sticker I was talking about right there. Cause also my uh, Pop Asia ones that come from this mine style, they have those stickers too. And you know what, I probably have him right here. I don't have to go that far. See, this is the sticker here, a little smaller sticker. That's on uh, my Pop Asia. And God, I should have got all this ready for you guys. I got them all over the place. Got Funkos all over. You see these stickers I'm talking about? They have them. These Pop Asia ones have them. Oh, look. Okay. Pop Life has the big sticker and the small sticker. Mind Style has the small sticker. Now, these are all from Pop Asia. And which one we had earlier, folks? This one. Here, that's a mine style with that small sticker. Now, what did we say Kobe Bryant had? Kobe Bryant has mine style big sticker. I don't know. I'm, I'm freaking lost now. Maybe you guys know things about this. But Kobe Bryant, I'm guessing, wouldn't be a fake. Let's uh, take Kobe out then. Because Kobe Bryant came from uh, 
a Comic Con. I think it was the last San Diego Comic Con. They were selling the Kobe Bryant's exclusive at that Comic Con. So I don't think this was a fake. I bought this one in California from the company that was uh, doing that. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and put Kobe next to the other ones and we're going to see the difference because they should all have the same body. Okay, we're taking a look at this. The body looks the same. The Kobe. The ball looks the same. Or is that ball a little bit bigger? You know what? Well, it's hard to tell. It is hard to tell. I'm going to have to say they are all the same. Now, the only thing I noticed different is Kobe Bryant, the ball itself, is a little more shiny than the ones from China. Actually, the whole Funko itself is a little more shiny than the uh, one from China, the Cleveland. If you guys could see that, the Funko itself. You know what? Let me pull out the White Howard and see if he's as shiny as the ones I got from China. Let's see what's going on here, folks. All right, here we go. Yeah, look at that. The ball, you can tell the ball is shinier. The one, uh, the White Howard. And look at that pencil mark on the basketball itself. These are fakes. I uh, bet you these are fakes. I think these are fakes, folks. I mean, the arm don't even look the same. His arm's a little more skinny. Uh, LeBron arms, the one from China, is a little more skinny than the, 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 the ones I bought from the U.S. Yeah, folks, it's hard to say because I'm not an expert in Funkos, but as of right now, I'm going to say because I've only paid $17 and some change to have these shipped, that's with shipping from China to my house, I'm going to say these are fakes. I'm going to go out there and say that. So if you order these things from China, uh, don't be surprised if they're not a fake. And the reason why I said that, like I said before, the other ones, they have a different paint to it. I mean, they're, they're shinier. Even the, uh, the color of the skin is different. It, 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 the arms are different because they should all have the same body but a different head. And you can tell the arms look different. The arms are a little more skinnier. So, folks. So, folks. That's it for this unboxing of this F Up China Funko. Now, what's the sad part is, <laughs> because it was 1747 or 17, whatever it was, a couple days after I ordered it, uh, I saw uh, Stephen Curry. Curry from the Golden uh, Warriors. I saw him on that on that site for $17. So I said to hell with it, impulse buy, and I bought it. So I guess we're gonna see if the next one that I buy, that I purchased from China, when it comes in, if, it's, if the box is gonna be just as messed up. And honestly, if, if those guys would've put it in a box, maybe a little bit bigger, or maybe the same box with some padding, yeah, it probably came out a lot better. I mean, even the cardboard is real thin. It should've been a thicker cardboard. So guys, you see how the unboxings, unboxings, how the unbox, how the box looks. <laughs> I'm screwing this all up because I'm kind of upset because I got some fake ass Funkos from China. Threw myself off track there. You see how the Funkos come in when you order them off of eBay from a company in China. So if you guys don't know, I, I don't even remember the name of the company. Y'all guys could go on eBay and search uh, LeBron James or, or Stephen Curry. And you get the ones that are like are 17 bucks for both of them. That's the company right there from China. So till the next video, I'll see you guys later. Uh, an, uh, a Funko from eBay overseas. I mean, I've ordered from Pop Culture before. And they came in pretty cool. I caught, I ordered, oh, I'm catching a Charlie horse. Ow. 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 Ow.